No one meant to invent photography. So how did the world suddenly learn how to freeze time? Picture a dim room in the early 19th century. The air smells faintly of metal and chemicals. Bottles clink softly on a wooden table. A curious mind leans in close, not chasing art or fame, but chasing a question. What if light could leave a trace? For centuries, people had known about the camera obscura, a darkened box where light slipped through a pinhole and painted a fleeting image on a wall. Beautiful, precise, and utterly temporary. The moment the light shifted, the image vanished. Always gone, always lost. Then came the experimenters. Men like Joseph Nisiphor Niepce and Louis Daguerre didn't start with grand visions of photography. They started with frustration. Images appeared and refused to stay. Plates darkened too much. Shadows swallowed detail. Hours passed, days passed, failures piled up. And then something strange happened. One plate coated with chemicals and left longer than intended didn't fade. It held on. A ghostly rooftop, a street corner. Light somehow had been caught. This wasn't a clean breakthrough. It was messy. Accidental. Dangerous. Early photographers worked with mercury vapors, silver salts, and toxic fumes. Their fingers burned. Their lungs ached. But the images, those images, kept improving. Sharper. Clearer. More real. Here's the twist. They still didn't fully understand why it worked. They experimented blindly, exposing plates to sunlight, washing them in salt water, letting chemicals react overnight, hoping the morning would bring clarity instead of ruin. Every success raised new questions. Every mistake whispered another possibility. And then came the moment that changed everything. Daguerre opened a box that had been forgotten in a cupboard. Inside, an exposed plate, untouched by fixer. It should have been ruined. Instead, the image was perfectly visible. The secret wasn't what he added, but what had been floating invisibly in the air. Mercury vapor. An accident. A revelation. From that moment on, light was no longer fleeting. Photography spread like wildfire. Suddenly, faces could outlive bodies. Cities could remember themselves. Time could be folded, flattened, preserved. The world began to see itself, truly see itself, for the first time. And it all started not with intention, but with curiosity, patience, and mistakes no one planned to make. Because sometimes, the greatest inventions aren't found by those who know what they're doing, but by those willing to keep asking what if. If this story sparked your curiosity, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, what moment in history do you wish could have been photographed first?